Senator Dino Melaye and one uh, Mohamed Audua to appear before the Federal High Court, Lokoja Kogi State, to answer to criminal charges leveled against them by the police today, March the 28th. But the chances of them complying uh, with this order are slim, as earlier summons have been ignored. Now, the senator representing Kogi West says he stands by his position to appear before the police only in Abuja, as he believes his safety cannot be guaranteed in Kogi State. Dino Melaye and, and uh, Mohamed Audu are wanted on grounds of criminal offenses of conspiracy and unlawful possession of prohibited firearms. Uh, two suspects arrested in the Kina local government area of Kugi State for kidnapping and armed robbery had accused them of providing a bag containing firearms and 430,000 naira. Well, the police says it <coughs> will issue an arrest warrant for the duo if they fail to appear today. And we still have with us in the studio Ayo Delia Adio to talk to us about this. Uh, Ayo, it's quite interesting, but the police said Senator Dino fled. But he came out yesterday, he appeared before on the floor of the Senate to say that he had not gone anywhere, that in fact he had not been given any summon, neither at his house or his office. So is the police doing the right thing here? Because the case is already in court, but the police is saying it would declare him wanted today. I mean, you know, sometimes the language, because language is very important, use of words, you know, are very important, particularly in the public space. You know, when you say somebody has fled, you know, they are very, it, it's quite a weighty statement to make when you say a senator of the Federal Republic has fled, uh. you know. Um, I didn't expect the police to use that particular language of, you know, the senator fleeing, um, you know. Um, I, I didn't think it was right, um, but of course, I think for the sake of the institutions that both people represent, um, for the sake of the Nigerian people, uh, and for the sake of um, the fact that they all will not remain in those positions forever, forever. You know, that people are going to take after them, um, you know, they should do the right thing. Um, first of all, if Senator Dino Malai is saying he cannot go to Kogi because he's afraid for his life, fine and good, thank God the police headquarters is actually in Abuja you could actually transfer the case to Abuja and have him, you know, show up in the police station in Abuja, you know, and take up the case from there. This back and forth, you know, isn't just helping anybody. I, I think to an extent is even, you know, slapping our democracy at the end of the day. You can't have two top institutions, um, you know, spreading their dirty lingerie on, uh, outside before the entire world. It doesn't just make any sense because people are watching. We live in a global world and people are looking at us every day and asking the question, is this the senator of the Federal Republic? Is this how the chief of police in your country, is this how you deal with public issues before the entire world? I think they should clean up, get this thing sorted out. If you really want him to show up, if you can't guarantee his safety in Kogi, fine. Let him show up in the police station in Abuja. And, and like I said, that's where your police headquarters is. Let him show up in Abuja and you get the case sorted out at the end of the day. All right. Now, when, when, when an issue has gone to court, it is said it is the best way to settle dispute. It is, it is the best way, a most transparent way to seek justice, as the case may be. Yes. But the, the issue between uh, Dino Melaye has repeatedly said that all of this is orchestrated from the Kogi State Government House, one way or the other. Yeah. Now, is there too much politics rubbing on everything that has to do, even the legal aspect of things, the, the, the moral aspect of things between these two? Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I think it's just, you just hit the bullseye. There's too much politics here, and particularly the rift between, you know, Senator Dilo Melaya and the governor uh, um, in Kogi State. And, and it's been ongoing for quite a while. You know, remember when you know, he was accused of making false statements, you know, to the, to the court. I was accused of perjury and he was taken to court. Um, in fact, there were allegations or he made those allegations that after he appeared in court, there were, you know, policemen waiting outside to arrest him. He had to sneak out through the back door, you know, and all of that. So I think these are adults. These are public servants. They represent um, their state and their constituents. And I think they need to do the right thing here for the sake of the institutions that they represent. This is, this is not child's play for goodness sake. We're talking about a senator and the Nigerian police force. If you have a case, and like you rightfully said, it's been instituted in court. And the date for appearance is on the 28th, which is today. So if he doesn't show up in court today, 
you can approach the court to issue an arrest warrant. It's as simple as ABC. And stop playing this public display of he fled, he didn't fled, he, he did this, he didn't do that, and, and the senator releasing videos upon videos. I mean, <laughs> you just vulgarize all the institutions at the end of the day. For goodness sake, people are watching. And they are looking at us as a country. Like I keep saying, we live in a global world and people be asking yeah. questions. Is this how the police handle issues? Is this how the Senate of the Federal Republic... And when I hammer on the case of the institution, remember, when the former Defense Secretary for the, for, for the UK, Michael Fallon, mm -hmm. was to resign on the case of sexual allegation, he was accused for a case that happened in 2003, 14 years after the, the, the story broke out mm -hmm. in the Observer UK. And he said the reason why he was he was resigning his office was so that he can raise the bar of the office that what he had done was not befitting of a man that would sit in the position as defense secretary in the united kingdom mm -hmm. so the next man who sits in that office knows that the stakes are higher knows that the moral ground for you to sit as defense secretary has definitely increased mm. so that's how you that's how you're preserving in fact a, 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 a lawmaker day. in the uk as well <coughs> a lord uh, sponsored the bill and the day they were to discuss the bill he was late they called exactly. the, mm. for him to defend he wasn't there eventually when he got there exactly. he said he was sorry that he felt bad and he tendered was his resignation exactly. mm. you know, so, so that, you that. know for just that when you sit in that seat after that man you know that the honors are high. You have mm -hmm. to deliver. Mm -hmm. But in this case, what we keep on doing is just to continue to vulgarize our institutions. We make it weaker and weaker and weaker by the day. And talking about it being weaker, you know, let me come in here. Uh, the institutions, uh, especially the security uh, institutions, uh, it seems, yes, it's clear now that mo many Nigerians don't trust them, especially the police. And when this come out, it, even it questions th their uh, uprightness, kind of, because Senator Melaye talked about, uh, asked a question, why the police bureau had to leave Abuja to Kogi State to be the one to parade the suspects. <laughs> exactly. That is same, one of those suspects was the one he, as a senator, accused of trying to assassinate him in the first place. And now it's the same guy that he are parading to say that he, Senator Dino Melaye, gave ammunition and money to, to perpetrate evil in the state that they are not uh, giving accurate correlate. information. You know, mm. Let me tell you what, you know, when we're reviewing the papers, I, I, I said that the little things matter because they play out the more complex and the bigger issues. Um, and, and here's one of the little things that you just itemized here, that, that the PRO <laughs> left Abuja to go to parade suspects in the case that was supposed to be, mm. you know, in Kogi State. Remember that Kogi has a PRO mm. you exactly. know, in Kogi yeah, State exactly. that was supposed to do that. Mm. And now, now, he, now, here's the irony. The police person in Abuja can move to Kogi to parade the suspect, but demands that Senator Dino Melai cannot appear in Abuja. Mm. He has to come to Kogi. Mm. I, you, can, you can see the irony there. So it's the little things that matter. And that's why we leave all these loopholes for people to be suspicious about mm. us. Mm. We need to get the little things right. You know, I, I asked a simple question and I said, why was Governor Yabelu issuing the statement? And I said that because the party has a publicity secretary. Mm -hmm. It's his job to communicate with the press, whatever happens, because there's possible deniability tomorrow. If, if, if you take that to court. I'm supposed to have a commissioner for information. You say, you say, you say, I mean, this is, I, I didn't make the statement, the publicity secretary mm -hmm. can deny. The exactly. party can deny mm -hmm. that exactly. it wasn't from them. Mm -hmm. It was the governor and, and you're on your own. It's mm -hmm. as simple as ABC. So we need to get the little things right. And it, it looks very, it, it looks shrouded in a whole lot of, uh, um, I, I, I try to find the right words to use. It, it, it's just not tidy. Mm -hmm. You know, you parade people so brazenly, you know, to make comments that, um, you know, give them X, Y, Z amount. You know, when I was watching that no date on, and time. on TV that day, I was wondering what all of this was at the end of the day. I mean, anybody who saw that was going to be suspicious ab about mm. what was going on. If you had concrete evidence, <laughs> do justice in the court of law. Mm. Stop this parade on, on, television on television and make it look like you have a vendetta against yeah. the gentleman. And, and, and that is why Nigerians are saying that the precedents we're laying is still mm. not to strengthen the institutions like you were saying. Because the point there is, you've made references to the UK and to all of that. People are watching and yes. they get to know the way you do it mm -hmm. is the way we have to follow. And uh, when it comes to building our institutions, one wonders whether this is a building of institution or the weakening, like you say. But we have to leave it here now. Adelia Adio, thank you so much for coming on thank the you, program. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Right.